Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pleb. In what seems to be a reoccurring story here as of late in Canada, Justin Trudeau got heckled yet again. This time, on his way into work at Parliament Hill, Freedom Fighters let Justin Trudeau know exactly what they think of him. Justin Trudeau tried to take the back entrance. The Freedom Fighters ran after him, they got their words in, and the footage is absolutely great. As well, tonight, we have an update on the Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk fight. Dana White says he wants to put it on, it'll be the biggest fight in history. Stick around, let's start the report. My friends, before I start tonight's report, can I kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel? I tell you guys the stories that the mainstream media will never show you, and I show you guys the stories that Justin Trudeau definitely does not want you to see. So if you guys could subscribe to my channel, it helps a lot, especially considering the internet is being censored here in Canada with Bill C-11. Thank you. In tonight's report, in what is a reoccurring theme here in Canada, Justin Trudeau gets roasted again. Or you could even say he got heckled. But wherever the man goes, the heckling, the screaming, the roasting, the anger follows Justin Trudeau everywhere. This time caught by Daisy Media in the streets of Ottawa. Cower to the cottage, Justin Trudeau sneaks out the side door of his office to avoid protesters. A few of us still caught up to him. Special shout out to Daisy Media for this excellent footage. Let's watch Justin Trudeau getting what? Heckled for the millionth time on my channel? It never gets old. Shout out to Daisy Media who keeps feeding this channel with incredible footage. I owe you a beer, Daisy, next time I see you. Let's roll it. We found him. Hello, you little brother. That's my three over there. Stuck out the back. Stuck out the back. Just like the rat that you are. Just like the rat that you are, running and hiding from your own people. After you betrayed them. Betrayed them, get a CCP. Saw it from them. And proper step. <laughs> They're running. They're running after the motorcade right now. <laughs> we see you, Justin. We want to come down the broad here, you little tyrant. You're such a coward, Justin. Criminal! Snuck out the back. Snuck out the back. <laughs> oh, but the guy is always at the phone. Always at the phone. Snap picture, don't you, you little tiger? <coughs> you little thing. You little communist. You little... I'm going to have to blur that word out. YouTube doesn't like that one. Are you going to go find me with the young girl? Here he is. Oh, I talk in the way. <laughs> How many security? Oh, there's his uh, photographer, Adam Scotty. The guy who took the picture at the convoy of the KKK flag or the Confederate flag. That's his personal photographer. How do you decide? How does he decide who to stop and talk to? He loves the intent. Rewind that. Rewind. He always loves like taunting them, saying hi and waving at his haters. It's kind of funny. You will be held accountable. He is right. Accountable. We will be held accountable. You will be held accountable, Justin. Yeah. You will be held accountable, Justin. I like the coward you are, Justin. I like the coward. 
snuck out the back door like a coward, coward he is. Yeah. Snuck right out the back door. Yeah, what a coward. Yeah, like is there anywhere Justin Trudeau could go without actually getting heckled, getting roasted? Is there anywhere Justin Trudeau can go without like 80 security guards around him? It's actually pretty crazy. And now with the summer coming, and I, I can only assume Justin Trudeau is going to be out in Canada, you know, campaigning, getting ready for the next election. I'm looking forward to a lot more heckling footage over the summer. And in our next story, we'll do a follow-up from yesterday's story with Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk wanting to fight in the octagon. Yes, the story's real. And it's so real that they both spoke with Dana White last night saying that they want to do this fight. And Dana White said that this fight would be the biggest fight in the history of combat sports. Let's roll the clip. I was talking to both Elon and uh, Mark last night. Both guys are absolutely dead serious about this. They both want to do it. Mark Zuckerberg hit me up first and said, is he serious? And I said, I don't know. Let me ask him. I asked him and he said, yeah, I'm dead serious. This would be the biggest fight ever in the history of the world. Um, <laughs> bigger than anything that's ever been done. It would break all pay-per-view records. These guys would raise, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars for charity. And, uh, you know, you don't have to be a fight fan to be interested in this fight. You, you everybody would want to see it. Things just keep getting crazier and crazier as the world progresses in the clown world. Now we have two tech billionaires who want to fight each other in the octagon because Mark Zuckerberg is releasing a competitor to Twitter. How crazy, but also how hilarious. Let me know in the comments, guys. Who do you have in this fight? Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk? And another question for you guys in the comments. Would you guys actually pay money? to watch Elon Musk fight Mark Zuckerberg? I need to know, tell me down below. And for our last story, Pierre Polyev came out today on Twitter and roasted the Trudeau government yet again saying, there you have it. Step by step, the Trudeau government is deliberately getting in the way of what people can see and share online. Per Meta, Today, we are confirming that news availability will be ended on Facebook and Instagram for all users in Canada prior to the Online News Act, Bill C-18, taking effect. Now, I'm not going to pretend I know everything about this Bill C-18, but I do know one thing. The Trudeau liberals want to control everything on social media and control the internet. That's so why I ask you guys to subscribe to my videos. Because honestly, now with Bill C-11, I will probably disappear from your YouTube feeds any day now. It's only a matter of time. Well, Melissa Lansman let the Trudeau government know what she thought of this Bill C-18. She put out a tweet today saying that C-18 created a new problem we have never had without solving for the one we did because of the heritage minister, the minister of truth, by the way, Pablo Rodriguez, <laughs> definitely the minister of truth, Ideo ideological crusade to control the message. Millions of Canadians will not have less access to news as Meta Facebook ends news sharing on Facebook and Instagram. Let's roll the clip and see what Melissa had to say about Bill C-18. My second point, limited freedom, forcing companies to pay for news access by mandating agreements in the free market. There, there would be less news, there would be less choice, there would be less independence. We've already seen the effects of that as Facebook recently shut down news hosting services for some Canadians as a result of this legislation. That's a preview of what's to come and it was the most obvious thing that was going to happen. And if Google decides to do the same, it would again hurt the small independent producers. Large outlets like the CBC or CTV or the Toronto Star wouldn't be affected. You can hardly say the same about the thousands of other independent broadcasters in Canada. The heritage minister can say that this was not the intention, but the outcomes remain the same. Nice. So what I can gather from that now is that Justin Trudeau and the liberals can decide who gets paid for posting news articles now. Do you guys think they're going to allow people like True North, Rebel News, The Counter Signal, Post Millennial, any of these right wing um, independent media outlets. Do you think any of them are going to get some of that money? The answer is no. 
Guys, as we wrap up tonight's story, I'll tell you this. The liberal government are getting more and more tyrannical by the day. And if we do not get these guys out of office in the next election, we are absolutely doomed. And that's why we have the plebs channel here, because I'm going to make sure that I do everything in my power on this channel to make sure Justin Trudeau will not win in 2025. Let's end off today's video with this question. If you saw Justin Trudeau 10 feet in front of you, what would you say to Justin Trudeau? Would you heckle him? Would you stay quiet? I want to know in the comments, guys. Let me know down below. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would definitely appreciate it. And you know what? If you thought this video was garbage, tell me in the comments you hated it and put a thumbs down. I'm cool with that too. My name is The Pleb. This was tonight's report, and I will see you at the next one. Peace.